Hey everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. Welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm going to do one more video on camera uh, for the autumn Edith Holden journal. Um, there's quite a few cards and things to do and there's some embellishing inside. So the first thing I thought was that when I made this cover, I've now decorated it with this lovely hessian flower and some fibres and some hessian trim down here, which already had the lace on it. And then a little cluster down here with some autumn coloured fibres and the word autumn, which I took out of Edith Holden's book. Um, then I thought, I keep looking at it and I think this this is missing something. So what I decided to do is I made a little corner pocket um, out of some card. Um, this might have been one of Violet Doran's die cut pockets. I can't remember. Um, and I trimmed it down because it was too big anyway. And then all I've done is taken a scrap of the Edith Holden book page out of the autumn pages and some of Tim Holt's snippets um, and these are the mushrooms so I just put a cluster of his mushrooms on there and uh, one out of which was fussy cut out of a book um, which was in my stash I don't actually know someone may have sent it to me and I thought that would go nicely there and then we could put something here something in it and I just thought, you know, I've been kind of deliberating. Is that going to look strange? Is it, you know, I'm always worried I'm going to mess up the front cover and then, you know, that's it really. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to go for it because I'm always second guessing myself. So I'm going to use some Beacon 3-in-1 so that I know that it's going to stay on. And... Uh... <clears throat> I've got a bit of a croaky voice today, so a uh, bit of a funny throat. Not a sore throat, but uh, a strange throat. I think it's to do with my um, acid reflux, you know. I think it does make your throat go a little bit strange sometimes. Um, although I don't feel like I've got any acid reflux, but it's kind of one of those side effects, apparently. So I'm going to have to clip that down onto there, just temporarily. So I'll just get one of my small little bulldog clips, because it does slide about this, and pop that there. Okay, that should... Once that's gone tacky, that should be okay. But I thought that kind of blended in with this image from Edith's book anyway. So that's, you know, my, obviously not the bulldog clip, but that's what that's going to be. And it's going to be a little pocket there, which would be nice. I can make a, I don't know, a little card or something to go in there. So let's open it up and have a look at what we need to do. So obviously I now put the closures on here and here. So in a previous video I made um, some snippet strips and one of the snippet strips I made, I made in an autumnal theme, um, not specifically for Edith, but where I've put the um, brad through there for that, I'm going to cover that now with a piece of this snippet strip and I thought it would be quite nice maybe just to put this whole piece down right up to the top there for the acorn bit so I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to cut that down um, just cut that kind of across there like so and let's just ink round it I, probably, I did ink round this I can see I did but obviously the top bit's not been inked and then I'm going to pop that down there. Now, I'm thinking of making it into a side tuck. So what I'll do is I'll hold the side that I don't want to stick down. And I will just... Again, I'm using Beacon 3-in-1. Um, and I'm just doing a thin bead. 
<clears throat> yes, I apologise for constantly clearing my throat, but that's what I feel I need to do at the moment. <clears throat> so I like this because it's got that nice autumnal feel to it. So I'm just going to pop that there in position, not right to the edge, but it doesn't matter. Some of the bits stick over the edge. So I thought that would be nice. And we've still got a piece of it left we can use for something else. We've also got one of the clusters I made previously in a previous video, the snippet clusters here. Thought that would probably go nicely. Um, might add, add a couple of more autumnal colour fibres to it. Um, so that's there, that's fine. Okay. Right, so that's covered up that brad nicely on there. And that's not a pocket anyway, so it did need some interest. So we've got somewhere to put something in there and um, may make a little uh, pocket down here on this side. So again, this is not a, I didn't make this into a side tuck or a top loading pocket. Um, I didn't want to make all the envelopes into those. This one is... It's a top pocket so we'll make a journal card for this so i'm going to work on this side today so what i want to do is just make a note if i can find my pencil on a bit of scrap i've got lots of scraps from Edith's book now so <clears throat> i'm not making it as wide because where you glue down the side you have to allow for that so I'm going to make it um I think I'm going to make it four and a half inches wide and the height of it again I'm not going to do right to the bottom because there'll be a bit of glue down here. Um so I will make it let's see it's just just a click over seven inches. So if I make it six and three quarter inches okay and i'm writing it down because the minute i start talking again afterwards i'll forget what what i measured it at so that's that one and then i thought we'd make this one as a lovely side pocket and it's got a lovely tall journal card to go in there so um again i'm just going to measure the height of it so i'm not going to the top because it's going to have if i put my bone folder in um it is an envelope so it should be okay actually um but i don't want to make it as big as this because you've got to allow some room for it to go in and out so it's measuring at eight and a half so i think i'm going to do it at eight and a quarter so that'll be eight and a quarter times and widthwise again this is four and a quarter so i'm going to make it four inches Right, so I think that's probably enough today for one video because I am quite slow, aren't I? So let's get going on this. So I keep forgetting how... Um, I, I want to leave it open, actually, because I don't want that to stick down to there. But that's made a nice side tuck in there now. Right, OK, let's pop that to one side so that we can work on our cards. So, I'm going to use some packaging, I think. I've got lots of packaging um, and boxes and things, so I thought it might be nice just to use some of that. I um, should have got that out ready. Sorry, I didn't. So, I will do that now. So this is a pasta pasta dish wrapper <laughs> and it's the right you know thickness so I'm just going to try and get both of them out of this so I want four and a half by six and a half okay so I, let me just cut this down because I don't want this crinkled edge I had a spate. I haven't actually saved any 
packaging for a while because I've got mountains of it now and then you know you run out of places to put it so I won't keep that all sprinkled okay so again I'm not going to keep the crinkled sides of it although sometimes these bits are already folded for the packaging they they can make nice um, pieces to for your flips to be stuck to um, so they're already folded so you know worth keeping if you haven't got much okay this one's got some of the box on the bottom stuck down okay so I might get one out of this because um let me see what was the height of the smallest one the six and three quarter so what we'll do is let's just quickly measure six and three quarters And then I wanted it four and a half wide, so we'll go in rather than out. So it's going to be there and there. Okay, so let's cut the side down. Oh my, I swear my desk is not level. I must investigate that at some point because my pencil rolling around does really annoy me. <laughs> uh, I've woken up to a lovely Saturday morning, so that's the first one we will check. So obviously, we've got all that on the back, but we'll be covering that up. And then, the second one we wanted. Eight and a quarter by four, so let's go for this side. So we want four, and then we want eight and a quarter out there. Let's just cut, I always cut the length down first because this is a small guillotine. I am planning to get an A4 size paper cutter, a decent one, or some sort of guillotine. But I did order one and get it. Oh, I think it was, was it just before, just after Christmas. And honestly, it wasn't, it was awful. It was really awful. And, you know, I took ages to deliberate, you know, getting it and looking at reviews and everything. Because my husband's a you know, always saying, you know, have you checked the reviews, make sure you have and all that. Now that is straight, just checking on the mat. Okay, so that's those two ready and there's a couple of bits left over. Right, so let's cover the back. <laughs> um, this is, you know, when we don't have time to cook properly and we just have already kind of big, big meatball pasta bake. Um, for quickness so i want something to cover the back with that can be journaled on so i'll just get some paper so i'm just going to use a sheet of this and I am going to just, so I think it's similar both sides, I'm going to stick these down on it. That is absolutely perfect height wise. So, let's just stick these down. Thank you. 
Yeah, the sun is shining and it feels a bit more spring-like again today. So, really pleased about that. Let's check on the other side. Just want to make sure that packaging is all covered. And that's one. And then we try not to waste this paper. I can stick this one down. So I hope you're all okay. And um, you know, I think most of us are busy at the moment with projects and stuff. I'm finding it hard to keep uh, once again, as usual, to keep on top of my um, the videos I watch from people I subscribe to to kind of dip in and out really just give that a good now this glue does move, move about a bit so just make sure that's that's fine and it's not bubbling up, which is good. So it's going to cut down there. This does take a while, this Kalau tacky glue, to actually dry, I find. Right. And that's that one already. Okay, and then make sure that's stuck how I want it. Okay, so just going to trim that down. This paper I've used to back it with is just a pack I bought on Amazon. I can I could put the link actually below. Might be useful. It's it's all slightly various shades of this sort of colour. It's kind of you know been made in the image of old parchment papers, I think. But it's handy, very handy. Um, so the backs are ready for journaling on. Okay, right. Now, let's do some, decide what we're going to do. So, I thought I'd quite like to do something different. Um, and I'm going to use this script napkin. And I'm going to, I think for the big card, I'm going to just decoupage that over it. And then we'll put something over the top. Just thought that would be make a little bit of a change from all the Edith Holden. Just break it up a bit. So I just want to split the layers. I can see already that it's triple layer. And there's one. I just use my finger, wet it, damp it, you know. And uh, but you can do it with a bit of tape. Um, there it's. It just if you press it down enough it will come apart so that's that so let's see if we would probably have enough then to use that bit to go down the bottom I think maybe let's have a look so I'm just going to get my mat out my dirty messy mat so ignore it please and glue stick because that's what I use for any mixed media I do now which I usually do off camera to be honest you know challenges for Facebook groups and things I don't always video those as well so I'm not going to trim around it as such cut you know make it I'm just going to lay it down like this and the beauty of using glue stick is you, you know, you've got time to smooth it down. 
plus I need to buy some Mod Podge and I just haven't, I haven't been out. So let's just, um, actually we'll, we'll cut into another quarter of it. I don't have much of this one left. I think somebody get, sent this in some Happy Mail a long time ago. I might have been doing one of those item swaps, you know, on the Facebook groups. I think those are good ideas. Um, it, you know, you get some nice unusual things that you might not necessarily have in your stash. So, um, I think they're great. So I think what we'll do is we will put that one down. So, like that. So I'm just being gentle with it because what I want to do, I'm just going to cut this down now. My scissors. <laughs> this is quite a sticky glue stick. <sighs> yeah, I can see the paper on the back wrinkled a little bit. That is the only thing with the slightly wet glues, and and that Kalau tacky glue is not the wettest of the Kalau's. I did have one last year and it was so wet I just did not get on with it whatsoever I'm still waiting for art glitter glue to come back into stock so I'm now just going to go over this again with the glue stick to make sure be very careful especially when you've got a join like I have but we are going to go over the top of it with an image so okay I just need to gently work um so I'll just use this I think it's just where that join is I hope you can't see my head. I don't even know. It's quite early on a Saturday morning. I don't even know if I've brushed my hair yet. I am dressed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> beauty of being hidden off camera. <laughs> Just flatten that down a bit. Okay. We won't touch it anymore. We're going to leave it to dry, that one, before we do anything with it. Okay, I'm going to put this down now. And let's work on this one. So, I'm going to round the corners of them both, but I will wait until the end because I've learnt my lesson about rounding the corners before I've put anything on them. So, let's see what image do we want on this one. So, I quite, I quite like this image here. Oh, that would be quite nice. I'm just going to maybe just cut round it and see how it looks. So, um This is, as I say, quite early Saturday morning, so I'm feeling fairly quiet, I think. Although hubby's up, so um, Paddy Dog's downstairs with him. Hoping, I think, that he'll get taken out shortly when he, when Daddy's ready. So, um... 
I hope this weather stays now for a little while because I need to do some gardening. And I have a lot of cactus plants in, in our conservatory and I need to repot some of those. They're getting too big. And that's quite a delicate operation. I don't know if you've ever tried repotting cactus, but um, it's not easy. So you have to have some very thick gardening gloves to avoid getting pricked with all those little spikes, you know. Um, I remember my mum, she used to have cacti and she got one of the um, prickles in her, unbeknown to her, she'd obviously got one in her thumb and it came up, it, sw it was swollen, it was huge, it was inflamed and um, she had to have antibiotics. I suppose, you know, it's a foreign body, isn't it? So, let's put that to one side. So, I thought this would be quite nice, but now I've cut it out, I can manoeuvre it a little bit. So, obviously, I'm either going to cut a bit off here or a bit off here. So, I'm just thinking, what do, would that look like if I cover that up? What would it look like? If we chop this down here, I think that might be the way to go. So I want to make sure the bird's on. So we may have to cut a couple of bits off. So I may have to just cut this whole branch to start with. So if I have the bird like this just right and all I need to do really I think is we just double check before I cut is to cut around this berry here like that just want to cut that bit out if I can I hope this isn't too boring for you. <laughs> watching me do this. I tried to think I'm getting on nicely with my um, cross stitch square that I'm doing, embroidery square that I'm doing for my granddaughter um, for love quilts. Um, she's been lucky enough to be picked for a quilt by Love Quilts. They're a UK, I believe it's just a UK organisation. I'm not sure um, where else they are available, but they make these beautiful quilts for disabled ch children. And she has a rare genetic disorder, cardiofasciocutaneous syndrome, which I've probably told you about. And she's been picked to have a quilt so everyone um there's a whole host of lovely ladies that belong to the group on face group so you can look it up it's love quilts and they um embroider these cross stitch squares and it's in a theme so Maisie's theme is because she's only um two and a half you know but you know she doesn't look two and a half bless her but she is starting to walk now um which is great because we never thought she would and um they her theme is butterflies and flowers so i've got a, a kind of a wreath and it's flowers with a butterfly in the middle and i mean i haven't cross stitched since i was at school in primary school um and then it was a di different kettle of fish because it was on huge um canvas with big holes whereas this is 14 i think it mine's 14 a d something i'm not quite sure what the term is anyway um so i apologize to any of you embroiderers out there and stitchers um so i we're kind of working i'm so slow that i'm working on a flower every night if i can so i kind of have to do that you know as well as this so it's an extra bit but when charlotte approached me my daughter and said mum you know Obviously, all the other ladies on this group are going to be making squares. So they open it up and then there's a deadline 
and um, once um, people have come forward and said committed to making a square then obviously they close it and then they get on and do it and then it's all put into a like a, a special like beautiful quilt and there's some beautiful ones on there that some of these lovely children have received and they're absolutely delighted with them and um so i'm making making that um at the moment um and uh yeah it's taken me a while i mean it's only kind of the wreath is about that big and then obviously it's a circle with this little butterfly so it doesn't sound a lot it has to be a specific size for the quilt and it has to be in a square kind of shape and then you your image is in the middle and then you you at the end you can then put your name in stitches and and the child that you're doing it for um on it and then you send it off to them and they'll incorporate it into this quilt so you know i, I must it's downstairs at the moment so obviously i do it downstairs really and I think, you know, I'm, I'll bring it up and do a little short video and show everyone how I'm getting on with it. But I'm, as I say, I'm not an expert. But when Charlotte said, Mum, would you like to do one? Because it would be lovely for her to have um, one or two family squares. I, I jumped at the chance because, you know, she, she's my I adore her little girl. She's so determined, bless her. Absolutely determined to... You know, she's got a nine-year-old brother who's absolutely amazing with her. So, um, yeah, so that's my bit of news, really. Um, what else have I been doing? We've just been going to work, really, and had a pension seminar about the NHS pension, which is mind-boggling. I'm supposed to be getting a call back, but... They don't tell you when they're going to call you back to have a one-to-one. -one. So I have to get all my ducks lined up, so to speak, ready for when I get a call. So I've got a couple of like private pensions because I've not got that many years under my belt for the NHS. I've mainly worked in since I left school. I, I left school at 16 and went straight into an office environment. Um and uh, so I don't have a degree or anything and um, my whole career has been in the admin sectors of different businesses in the private sector really so right so we want to put something nice behind that so I thought maybe we could put uh, a sheet of some music paper would be nice so I have got a sheet here so I thought that would be quite nice. Hopefully that's not going to detract from it. I don't think it will. So let's just tear that into sort of a, sh a shape, really. Um, so, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, so, um, I'm working on these Edith Holden Four Seasons envelope folios. There's an awful lot of work that goes into them, as you know. And um, I haven't torn that very well. I just want to get the general shape, really. I kind of, what do I want? So, um, don't want the complete completely cover the whole page. Let's see what that looks like. I just wanted something behind him. It's lovely him or her. I think that's nice. And then we could put something else below and above as a collage, I think. So let's see. Have a look and see what we've got in, in this bag of tricks. So, um, I wonder if he said that might be nice. It might be a bit too, it's very autumnal colours, isn't it? So, that's kind of why it's caught my eye, really. Uh, A kind of a P 
piece of that scrap. What else have I got? I've got some of that. So let's see if we can make a nice autumnal one out of this. Okay. Right. Um, some of this straw paper I do get some funny shapes really with mine so that would be quite nice I think so we'll tear it down here and I don't want it you know perfect that's quite nice Maybe that, I don't know. Let's see, maybe a piece of this. To tear it back down the other way to get rid of that fibre. Always tear it the way that, the opposite way to the way it needs to be torn somehow. <laughs> Take that straight edge off. Okay, so what do I think of that? I'm not sure. Oh, it's actually got the word autumn on it, so that's quite nice. So maybe we'll go for that, I think. Right, let's get on, otherwise. Um, I'm just going around it with vintage photo. So I kind of want that there, I think. But we can manoeuvre them in a minute. my uh, stamp out just to give it a bit of extra layer underneath so this is what I mean when I say I'll just do two on camera because <laughs> as you know I get carried away with everything and I forget time I just get it in around the card itself less hay small speed <laughs> as they say okay right now I'm just get my clean stamp we can switch on very very mucky really <laughs> and I'm just going to use the vintage photo and I'm literally just dabbing a corner of it and stick some glue page underneath and I'm just going to go around the edge picking a different section of it So that it looks slightly different. Like that, that's good. OK. 
day. I think that's all right. Okay, let's put those over there. Right, now let's get sticking. So I kind of want that there. I wanted a big, biggish piece, really. That's the main focus. And then I thought that could go over the top there. That definitely is nice. And maybe that edge showing there. And well, that's quite nice. I like that. Okay, let's get these down right. Um, I'm going to just glue stick them down, I think. Sorry for the sound. I'm a bit heavy handed, aren't I? Okay, so I'm always working at an angle, so I do. <laughs> I do apologise. Take him off. We know and we know where that's going. Right. I try and be quieter. Just want to make sure the edges are all gluey. And I think we'll that right there and then I don't know why I'm being so noisy with a glue stick I just want that over there like so and then we'll pop this down be careful with this because it's quite delicate this straw paper this is from a shop on Etsy called Camellia Craft Designs, Julie's shop, very lovely paper. Okay, let's fold that over and see if we can get this down. I will see how this sticks with this glue stick. Yeah, so next Friday is Good Friday here. Um, so I've broken up, my grandsons have broken up for Easter already. Yesterday, today's Saturday. And, um, okay, I just need to move that over a bit because I don't want his beak off the side like that. Okay, so how did I have him so that he, that's better. Okay, where's my, dry white gets better to use that. Okay, well, well I quite like that, actually, it's turned out. Much better than I thought. Okay, now I was going to put some sort of word on it, but I did see on this that um, I think this is the hedge sparrow. So let's see, what should we should we use that? Just as a bit of interest. I do cut straight, as you can tell. <laughs> so I thought maybe that might be nice there. Let's go around the edges of that. 
and what can we put that on something let's see um piece of this might be nice because it does kind of go quite flat on the card just cut a piece of that out and I'm just going to use a little bit of beacon for this very very little bit just enough and I'm just going to kind of scrunch it up a little bit so I don't really want any loose bits really and then obviously we want to put this down take that piece off it's all globby and that could go there like so and then we'll put um, something up here, I think. So, let's have a look for a um, label. So, I have a number eight there. I quite like that, actually. Right, let's go for it. Don't procrastinate, Susan. Because you're always doing that and you end up taking ages to choose things. Right. No, it's that, it's that way or I think the bigger, slightly bigger loop of the eight is at the bottom. Now over I know it's gone over the berries but the berries are showing underneath it so I like that right okay next thing is to round the corners using the 10 millimeter corner like that I'm already really untidy if you could see what I can see <laughs> you know how shocked you might be <laughs> right so that one we didn't check the size after all that I got carried away now it's a bit late now but if it wasn't the right size then Oh well, I have to think of something else, but to go in there, so I know it's going to fit. To go in there and it's going to have a tab at the top here. So um, let's find a little tab to go on there while we while we can think about the tab. So just get my lots of tabs which are on my other shelf. And um, maybe one of these little ones here would be nice, I think. So that's already chosen. Okay, so all I'm going to do if I stick that on is I am going to bring back this. And I'm just going to stamp over it like that. There. And just ink round it now. Like that. 
клеон just gonna smooth that out with my finger like that and I'm going to put it on in the middle I'm going to eyeball it so I think that's okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that's so it doesn't look straight at the back. So obviously, I just need to adjust that slightly, that side, and I hope that side. That's better. Okay, that looks all right. So I'll put that to one side now to um, dry. Okay. I'm not too happy with that edging. I need to put a bit more of this um, script on, I think, here. Now that I can see what gaps there are and then we can say that it's finished okay right so that one's done okay now look at that book page in my bin okay now let's bring my other book page the whole book in right so now we're back to this one here okay which is dry so the piece i had in mind for this i'm just going to move that out of the way was this lovely image this november one this is november this is out of the Edith style book and it's I think it's the bird one and I thought I want to cut round here that's what I'm going to do so I'll just speed this up a bit Right, okay, so that's done. Let's trim that bit of napkin off. Let's check the edges and tiny bits coming up there. Okay, so let's think round it. Well, let's cut the corners. Where's my corner round? I'm again using 10mm and Okay, and then I'm going to ink round it. Like that, and I'm 
round the back. Okay, so now let's think of um, what we can put on this. So um, I've got some of the Tim Holtz words. Now I thought maybe a kind of black one might be nice. Black and white, let's see. Um, uh, well, family's quite nice, isn't it? Because that is a family of um, robins there, here, with the babies. Yep, sharing the berries with the blackberry. A uh, blackberry. Oh dear, <laughs> blackbird. So that would go nicely up there. Now I think we need to put that on something to show it up. So what about if we use a tiny scrap of this and maybe have that up there like so. Let's take a tiny bit more off. Okay, like that. And that on there, I think that would look nice. So, or else I could put a bit of flat lace. The only thing with that is it's going in and out of pocket. So, I'm going to just glue that down. These are sticky, these labels, so that's why I'm holding it on my finger. I've decided where it's going, and then I want to round that it's got white edges and then I want to pop that there like so and I'm just going to just take that glaring white off and that's that one there and then I think we'll have a little label down here so let's see what sort of colour. A red might be nice. A little red label down here maybe. Um, some numbers that might be nice. Quite nice actually. Um, that would be nice, but it says Saint on all, and I don't know what that really. Well, obviously, that's a saint. You know, I don't really don't think that's appropriate, but somehow. About this. Oh, yeah. Let's put this number 35 on. So. The birds are going to have numbers <laughs> and I'm not putting that on anything so um, yeah I just had another label here somewhere that I've just somehow mislaid Hmm. It had um, a bit of script, so I might put that on as well. A bit of extra interest down here. So there. And then that. And go there like so so there we have that one now let's just have a look bring back the folio and this now is going to be going into here so this is going to need a side tab and I just want to make sure and know so that fits in there perfectly so I want the side tunnel. I'm just going to mark it here. 
because I want to make sure it shows up in that thumb hole. Okay. Right. So. What tabs have we got that we want to put on the side there? Just there. I've got some that uh, Violet sent me that um, are all cut from a botanical book but I'd have to find one that was a bit autumnal really and a bit of a stickler for continuity <laughs> now that's quite nice but it's got to go here so that's too big so I think what we do is we will plump for a small whale tail maybe we just have a look at that one see where that's coming to there yeah I think that would be fine okay let's and I'm going to put a bit of script on this because this is kind of strange it's not the nice card that um no I don't want to use that for it let's just that down because that's scrap now. So okay. So let's put some glue on. Just going to spread that with my finger and then I'm going to find my mark that looks fine on the back so when I bring this back in I will see that it's you know let's just pop it in I've got a glue finger so I don't want to put glue all over the pocket there I need to glue down that little bit so when we pop it in there we have it there okay right so I just need to glue down always these little bits that need a bit of extra glue okay right let's close the glues up and yep we've only made two today but they are quite detailed so there we have it so I hope you enjoyed that and you know I you know sure you don't want me to um, be doing all of these on camera so I'll do some more in a similar theme for the rest of that folio off camera so now we can um, take this off because that pocket on the front that's now dry so we've got a little side tuck here for something nice nice card and now that goes in like that and then this little pocket here has cut, turned out lovely I think so that is it okay so thank you for watching me I hope you enjoyed this I hope you'll keep coming back, you know, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. Once I have one of these, the, the, the names, I will ask you to enter 
giveaway if you're interested of course you might not be um and the lucky winner that name i pull out will win one of these folios either spring summer autumn or winter um and it'll be the folio of your choice and it's open to international and uk so that's my plan but i have to reach 500 subscribers because that's my goal Okay, thank you everyone. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.